going? Hello, hello. Sorry guys, gotta make just one edit because I forgot to do one small change, but I'm all done now. Well actually, there's one more thing. There we go. Alright. So how's everyone doing? Second day. We're already, already at the end of the week technically, or the beginning of the week. I know in the United States, some people see Sunday as the first day of the week, which is weird. I don't know why that's a thing, but okay. Java update, no thank you. I'm kinda busy right now. All right. Who's up first? Perfect and Eagles. I'm still kind of sick. I'm actually doing a bit better, but still kind of sick, so... Please excuse me if I sound gross. That's weird. Why is the Liverpool logo all messed up now? What's going on? That doesn't seem to be the case with any other logos. That's weird. Yesterday I noted that the Aston Villa logo is all messed up, but now the Liverpool logo is all messed up. Hmm. Okay, there's a virus going on in the VPSA game. It's actually raining right now, it's actually really cold, so it's raining. Alright. Hey, and the music started up. And the music ended right when, when we were getting started, so perfect timing. What's wrong with it? It looks all like wonky. Like it looks like it looks like static y. I don't know. It's weird. VPSA virus. It doesn't seem wrong to me. Interesting. <gasps> Am I being corrupted? Whoa. But yes, things are starting to heat up now. Griffins are have choked just a little bit in their in their quest to win the league title this season they've already lost two matches they're on 24 edge John are in second with 21 rovers on third with 20 so Griffins would like to win this game to get back on track meanwhile Eagles are lurking towards the bottom I think a win here would be huge for them to stay up What is that formation? Ooh. We're about to see Eagles are gonna <laughs> they're, they're gonna they're cooking this one. Just you wait. This will be the greatest Eagles performance the world has ever seen. And it's all gonna happen right here, right now. Just in case you're wondering, the record for the quickest goal is 53 seconds, so 
by right now the first goal would have been scored. Right now. It would already be 1-0. It was Eshdahan. It was Virginia Emmett. 53 seconds into the game. Oh, Bocchini! Axel there kind of lost the ball for a second, and Eagles nearly clawed one back right at the beginning. Is it possible for you to turn up your voice? The stream seems very quiet. I'm on max sound. I can barely hear it. What do you guys think? Is it very quiet? Am I speaking like I'm in a closet? I can, I can turn it up. Why does one player have green boots and the rest have black boots? Well, you're talking about Fred. He won it in a giveaway. So a few other players also have special boots. So Chess has special boots. Can barely hear you. All right, all right, let me... <gasps> Fetch! Thatch has been sent off. Red card. Only eight minutes into this match. Oh boy. Playing without a defender is really very, very bad. Wow. We'll see how the Griffins play without uh, with 10 men. But yeah, let's see. I turned myself up just a tad bit. I can also turn up... Mm, how's that? I turned it up just a bit. Yeah, I'm really interested to see how the Griffins will play because they're basically missing a player at back. I don't know if I don't know if like somebody's taking that role. I'm not sure. Let's see. Yeah, it looks like one of the midfielders has gone back to sort of play as that role. It isn't done automatically. I think the player has chosen himself to go back there. Like to play as a cover. Or is he? No, 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 they are playing with only three at the back. If you look at the radar, you'll see that there's nobody up there on that right flank. Well, left flank, I guess, because whatever. It depends on where you're looking at it. Great pass to Zephy. It's going to be a free kick for the Eagles. No, no. Ooh. Jensen. Good cross. Aw. Can you turn down the game instead? Sure. Let's see. I could turn it down. How's that? Oh, what a pass to Fred. Good stuff. Stream keeps lagging for everyone in BC, it seems. Um, let me see. Mm, everything's good on my end. Babatunde, and he's hit it straight into the air. It might be a problem with the person sharing the screen. Because for me, everything looks good here. It's running, running pretty well. 
I mean, it doesn't seem to have any like drop frames either, so yeah. But yeah, how's the uh, how's the um, how's the audio now? I still haven't found the right balance for it, I guess. JJ. Good header away from Santos. The ball twirling on the dugout there. Good, good. It always differs from person to person. Some people find it very quiet. Some people think it's too loud. So <laughs> we'll just we'll just adapt to what you guys think. It'll, it's okay. You can just let me know and I'll change it up. to Bieber. No, it does look like there's been a, a change there. Bieber has moved back to a center back position. You see him there. And Betis is playing on the left flank, so yeah, it looks like it looks like the game did put in someone there. So they're playing with only two midfielders, Griffin, so they're gonna have a, a much tougher time trying to get past the midfield. And it has shown that they really have struggled. Oh poor poor mistake from Axel. My voice cracked. Oof. Yeah, it looks like you guys are having bad streams. Try refreshing YouTube. Alessio said he had that problem too, but closing it and then reopening it again. So it's, it's probably your guys on your guys' end. Because again, I'm looking on my end here and everything looks good. No drop frames and yeah, all good here. Simo to Anderson. Finn Peters, Kopeski, good passing from the Eagles out back. JJ, no, no. Oh, good pass to JJ. Ah, uh, he had it poked out. Corona. Corona. Ah. Uh, Good stuff from Bieber. He is a really good defensive midfielder, so his defensive skills are uh, put to good use in the center back position. Chini to Jensen. Oh, Jensen cuts in and what a really across. Oh, the shot hits the post. Oh, Jensen would have had an absolute banger there. But it hits the post. So unfortunate for the Eagles. I thought that was going to fly in, but so unfortunate. And here's Babatunde. Santos. Good header. 
JJ to Corona. Eagles can maybe spur a counter here. Corona into space for Zephy, who's all by himself. Zephy's in the box. Oh, he made a meal of that one. Kopeski cuts back. JJ. And it's safely in layman's hands. Yeah, what a strike that was. We would have never seen the end of that one. But it's still nil nil, and we're already almost at the end of the first half. Griffin down to 10 men. That's being sent off. Babatunde, good cross. Nobody was there. Sobosai. It falls to Babatunde. To Fred. Good save. Cleared away. And it's the end of the first half. An electric first half. Lots of action. Touch being sent off has really, really turned the tide on this match. There it is. I'm not too sure if that was a red card, but I'm not refing this match, thankfully. <laughs> Ooh. That would have been massive. We'll take a look at the shot, a shot again. Jensen. Oh. That was beautiful. Oh, so unfortunate. Oh. Alright. Let me see when exactly the uh, red card took place. Seventh minute. Oof. Alright. So Griffins have gone down to 10 minutes. Severely handicapped them. So we'll see what the second half will say. How's the stream now, by the way? Zephy, good cross. Oh, it fell to everyone again. Zephy's in the box. What a strike! And great save from Lehman. You know, Eagles might be able to squeak this one out against the Griffins. They'll need a bit of luck on their hands. Jensen with the corner. It's a long corner. Oh, Corona ran into the net. Zephy's header. Hits the net at the top. Babatunde. What a strike from Soboslai and a great save from Brathwaite. The defense was on it to prevent uh, a rebounded strike. Excellent work there from the Eagles defense. And it looks like the referee is going to have a word with Soboslai. Just a warning this time. Imagine there's two red cards for the Griffins. Imagine. That's never happened in the VPSA before. Two red cards for the same team. Here's Fred. It's the from Finn Peters. It finds Fred through the middle. Ooh, good save again from Brathwaite. Griffins also could try and sneak a victory here with 10 men, playing down the middle like that. 
It's a corner. And a good clearance. All the way across to Jensen. Finds Bocchini. Oh, Axel's been... Axel commits a foul at the edge of the box. Gonna be a yellow card for Axel. Oh boy, now I'm scared there might be another red card. Free kick, Jensen to take it. That was an interesting pass to Kopeski. That's gonna come off of Fred. And Lehman's gonna come out to collect it. Eagles win the ball back, Corona. Ooh, Bieber shoved away. Bieber recovers. Ooh, Cabral's breaking through. He finds Hernandez. Crowd of bodies there. And the Eagles recover it. Oh, poor pass. Gives it right back to the Griffin. Subosly. A chip pass through the middle. Headed away. <laughs> JJ with the backwards header. Nice. What a pass. Zephy out muscled. Back with the Griffins. Lots of action. I feel like Thatch getting sent off really uh, opens the matchup. Santos whips it in. Hernandez with the header and the goal. Brilliant team effort there. And Hernandez has got one for the Griffins. What a cross. And what a header as well. Both Spaniards involved in the goal. Here's Zephy. Oh, good cross to Jensen. Hernandez again. Convenient time. Yeah, exactly. It was right on the dot. They couldn't have timed it better. Eagles got to be careful here. Zephy. I, I feel like Eagles could get an equalizer, but they'll need to act fast. Good recovery from Simoy. JJ. Corona. Corona finds JJ through the space. Oh, JJ brings it back. JJ with the equalizer. What a pass from Corona. Excellent teamwork from Eagles. And they're right back in it. How about that from Corona to break the space. And JJ with clinical strike there. We get the perfect angle. And it's all back square now. And Zephy and Corona are coming off. Interesting. <laughs> Your first VPSA goal. Congrats. Oh, what a strike. 
from Silver Slide, Brathwaite got a hand to it. Red's gonna come off for Armiento. Interesting subs here. Corona, Zephy, and Fred are no longer on the pitch. Gonzalez. Cabral, Armiento, oh, loses the ball there, JJ, JJ's moved into a left wing position, I think Jensen has moved forward, Santos, good pass to Soboslai who cuts in, he's in the box, and he tries to strike from that angle, but that was always going to be difficult. Papatuni is going to come off as well. Oh, interesting. Gonzalez. Jensen. Back to Gonzalez. All the way to JJ. Weiss, Gonzalez, excuse me, else Midian. Oh, Jensen's in the box. He belts it at Lehman, who's forced to make a save. Another sub here. Santos is going to come off for Daniel Larson. Right into Layman's hand, the corner. Gonzalez lays it back to Hernandez. He tries to find Pettis there, but it was intercepted. Axel under pressure. For Lehman. Gonzalez. JJ. JJ cuts in. JJ's in the box. Again, Axel firmly planted. I'm looking at it on my other device here and I'm not getting any any issues. So I think it might be your guys' internet. Jensen, what a pass to no no. Ah, uh, Ebed was right there. Yep. So it looks good to me. I think YouTube's just being funky today. Uh oh. Well, Gonzalez is going to have to be looked at. And he's good to go. No issues there. Hernandez. Oh, Hernandez is through here. He's on the wing. A looping cross into Brathwaite's hands. Chomp fingers. Yeah, it really is a chomp fingers moment. Ooh, it really is nervy because it is equal. Both sides have a chance of winning this. 
Oh, nasty tackle by Shimoy. And that one's going to be a yellow card. Another yellow card. Now Axel and Shimoy are both on yellows. Pochini's coming out for Trish. Gonzalez finds a way through. Gonzalez, it's still him. Armiento, a glancing header, but not really much power on it. It was a bit far away from for a header. Gonzalez, Armiento. Oh, Armiento's through. Armiento, oh, oh. Gonzalez, heroic stuff from Gonzalez. And it looks like the Griffins have won it at the end here. Somehow with 10 men. Armiento gets all the credit though with his effort to blister down the midfield. And I, I, I thought maybe there would have been a penalty there. The taco by Finn Peters. But Gonzalez was right there. And delivers... In the 87th minute. All goal contributions today have come from Spaniards. Oh, but here's Krish. Right at Lehman. Two minutes of added time. Not much time for the Eagles to get something. But here's Armiento. Larson. Good stuff from Krish. Jensen. All the way to JJ. This will be the last one for the Eagles. Aw, oh, miscommunication there. Soboslai, Gonzalez, and that does it, what a match this was, Eagles were so so close to getting a good result, but it wasn't meant to be, but what a valiant effort it was, and the Griffins have rescued really, three points today. Match of moments, I think. Actually, I'm going to turn up the music a bit since we changed it up a bit. That was the Griffin's first goal. Actually, it might be too loud, actually. This was the equalizer. What a moment. What a moment this was. And it looked like the Eagles were going to get something from it, but at the very end, Gonzalez comes to the rescue I'm more happy with this win than when I won the league and I can't explain why well because you guys are down to 10 men Unli always unlikely that you win down a man man of the match is given to Soposlai here are our subs Armento 6 Gonzalez with a 7 Larson with a 6.5 Vice with the 5.5, Gonzalez with the 5.5, and Krish with nothing.
All right. Hmm. Anything for Thatch? His early dismissal, which forced a change in strategy, was a pox on his performance. <laughs> Dang. That was rough. That's rough. He only played for seven minutes. A pox on his performance. Jeez, that's that's pretty uh that's pretty critical. So yeah, I think who can I give it to? Was it say for Masales? Scored an amazing winning goal, worth its weight in gold, absolutely. Hmm. I think. I was thinking about giving it to Santos because he was very, very helpful down the wing. And you can see here, he also chipped in with the assist. And he provided lots of interceptions. I think I think I will give it to Santos. All right. Who's next? Rovers against Leyenda. Oh boy. That's going to be very interesting to watch. Alright. So let's head on over to that stadium. Watching in 144p. <laughs> hey, that's how we used to do it in season one. So you're you're taking it back to the classics. This is a bit of a mismatch. That's an excellent view there. The lats going into heaven. <laughs> Why are they walking into whiteness? Looks like they're about to enter the pearly gates. That's how Rovers will be feeling today. Here's Leyenda. It is a, it is a mitch, mismatch, I'll be completely honest. Rovers challenging for the title, Leyenda struggling to avoid relegation. So this should be a comfortable victory for the Rovers, but we'll see how Leyenda put up a fight today. Oh wait, the music's still playing, I'm an idiot. Sorry about that. 
We need to fire. We need to fire the music guy. <laughs> Here's Garcha. Early strike right into Harnash's hands. Here's Bile with a heavy touch. Back with Ademi. You can't afford any mistakes against the Rovers. Ademi. And Shakiri's going to foul. Kiris from distance. That one was well wide. It looked good on camera. Kiris has been much more confident. Actually, it wasn't that far off. Kiris has been much more confident uh, in the final third. This season. Here's Sam. Sam tries to find a way through, but Sam does. Ooh, Sam there. Sneaked the chance on the Rovers. His strike was, well, it wasn't that bad. Wow, what a header that was! Good pass to Ademi. Well defended by Fernandez. And a demi strike. He tries to hit it at, at once, but he couldn't keep it down at all. How's the stream doing now, by the way? Is it still lagging about? Because again, I can check my stuff, but it looks good to me. It's perfect, actually. No drop frames at all. There's a lot of people interested in the D&D game. Nice. Okay, so we should probably get to organizing that. Again, that can be like an off-season thing that we do. So that we have stuff to do mean while I'm uh, fixing everything up. Oh, brilliant pass to Jesus. Jesus, oh my goodness, Jesus is very quick. It lags sometimes, but it's fine. Oh my gosh, Jesus is a freaking beast. Look at him run. Do you guys see that? He's super fast. Across in. It falls to a demi. Good save. That could have easily been 1-0, but a great save from Harnash. Gabi all the way to Jesus. Lays it up to Sam. Sam tries to dink it back to Gabi. Intercepted by Owen. Owen's going to make his way forward completely. And Owen decides to have a strike. And it's saved by Harnash again. Isn't he the player with 90 speed? Yes, he's at 92 now, actually. But the thing is, is his acceleration is very... Oh, Garcha almost had a goal there. That would have been from nothing. But yeah, he has 92 speed. And the thing is, his acceleration is like 80-something as well, so he can get pretty fast very quickly, but I don't think his stamina is at the same pace. Literally, <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> oh, what a pass to Garcha. Right at Harnash. It's going to be up to the Leyenda defense today if they want to squeak anything from this match. Good tackle by Kirs. A glass cannon, yeah, exactly. <laughs> there he is.
Stojanovic. Decent effort by Ademi, but it's right at Harnash again. Stojanovic. Cleared away by Fernandez. No nonsense, just get it out. One in doubt. Here's to Lee Ji Hoon. Bile to Jesus. Let's pop loose. It's with Garcia back to Pashalic. Fernandez back to Harnash. Tadulia dead. Ademi and Harnash got into a bit of a tussle there. Vilez on the wing. Easily dealt with by Jojo. It's out for a throw. Another throw. Nasty tackle. Ref tells Stojanovic to keep it cool. No red cards, hopefully, in this match. Although it could spice things up. For the Rovers, it might be might make things very interesting. For the end, that's basically a death sentence. Look at that. He's super fast, Jesus. Shaqeri's through. Good good uh, defensive work by Bile. Somehow the Rovers take it back. Pashalic. They're right there. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. How did it not go in? That like bounced off of four, four different people. Again. They're right there. The Rovers. They're right on the doorstep. So I think it's only a matter of time before they get their goal. Shalich skips by. Ramiro takes it out. Here's Sam. Oh, Sam into space for Denise. And he runs straight into Lee Ji Hoon. He should have done way better there. And the chances will not come very often for Leyenda. Here's Garcha. Oh, poor pass. Denise. Denise into space for Sam, but it looks like he's offsides. It was a good idea. Lee Ji Hoon to Garcha. Who's. Ah, he runs. He runs it out. He, had, he didn't have enough space there. Ooh, Sam's through. Oh, excellent work. Excellent work by the defense there. Leyenda are, are showing their teeth a bit. Ramiro. Garcha. Demi wins it back. Shakeri. Oh my goodness. Well, I don't know what happened there. Behrens. We're just about ready to approach the end of the first half and still no goals. 
I would have expected at least one or two by now. Denise tries to get to Sam, but the defense is always going to be hard to break down. Shakeri. Stiana Beach to Kiris. He's got help from Lee Ji Hoon on the wing, who has a poor pass, unfortunately. Denise wins it back. He's got some room to work with on the wing. Denise with an excellent pass to Gabi. Oh, Gabi should have done better there. Shikeri. We're about ready to close the end, uh, the first half. Kiris. Kiris is breaking through. Shikeri. Who was offsides? Yep, by some margin. And that will do it. No goals. No goals yet, I should say. a good opportunity for the Rovers but Harnash does well <clears throat> Harnash has been well in net today no mistakes so far the, the defense as well for Leyenda has been pretty sturdy How did that not go in? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It took seven touches and none of them went in. All right. Yep, it's been a dominant Rovers performance so far, but no goals yet. So we'll see if the second half has the goals we've been waiting for. Oh, the music's on again, dang it. I keep forgetting. The music's just so good, I want to keep it playing. Gotcha to Ademi to Shikeri. Who drags it wide. Excuse me. <laughs> I'm very gassy, I don't know why. Behrens. Adulia Dets to Bile. Oh, good dribbling from Bile to skate past Brusalic. Ramiro. To Denise. Denise finds Gabi. This could be a good chance for Leyenda. Sam. To Jesus. And I'll take a deflection off Kirs. Oh, brilliant header by Garcha. The pass, but it's popped loose. Gabi. Uh, good attempt by Gabby, but it's going to be hard. It's going to be hard to break down a defense like the Rovers. Got just through. Oh, excellent stuff by Tulia Det. Lee Ji Hoon. Here's Giris. This could be good for the Rovers. Oh, it's a free kick for Rovers in a good position. And the header's well over. I'm not I didn't see what happened there. 
Denise has been subbed off. For Tyon Dwayne. Tyon Dwayne, a classic. Here's Tyanovich. Ooh. A good effort, but he couldn't keep it down. That one should have been 1 0. Oh, here's Shaketi. Shaketi. Brilliant save and well done by the defense to clear it out before he could get the rebound on it because that would have been 1 0 for sure. All the way back to Harnash who clears it. And someone's been fouled. It's going to be a free kick for Leenda. I'm waiting for the Latif winner, if I'm honest. Stojanovic, good stuff by Leenda. Sam, oh, Sam's, Sam's in a good place here. He'll need some help. Jesus, oh, good stuff by Owen. Wins it back very cleanly. Good pass to Pashalic. There we go. Cleanly struck by Pashalic. It didn't have that much power on it. But he got it past Harnash. And the deadlock has been broken. For some reason, Harnash was... Well off his line. What was he doing over there? I don't know. But it is 1-0. It's time to write this down. I think the floodgates will open up now. Here's Gears. Dancing, dancing. Oh my goodness, what a rocket. And it's 2-0. Easily struck by Shaketi. I wasn't even done writing the first goal. Kiris with the cross. Bang by Shaketi. That one was going to be hard to save. in the 62nd minute. All right, time to keep on writing these stats down. Kiris again with another assist. Kiris has been so, so, so good in this latter part of the season. Ramiro crunched by the Rovers players. They've won it back. Shaketi now. Shaketi tries to find the Demi, but Behrens gets a last touch on it. Adulia dead. Gabi. Oh, and back by the Rovers.
Leao gets shunted there. Poor Leao. Got Chad Kiris. Kiris cuts in. In the box. Kiris. Great save by Harnash. A little bit more curl on it. That would have definitely flown in. Garcha. Find Chiquetti. Pashali, Chiquetti. Chiquetti. Oh, what a, what a cross from Chiquetti. And Garcha heads his goal in. And it's three now for the Rovers. Shekedi has been having what a match today for him. Two or two assists and one goal. In the seventieth minute. Here's Garcha, Garcha again. He's in the box. Good cross. Oh my goodness. Shaketi almost had a goal there. All right. Took a while to score the first goal, but they're rolling now. Yep, absolutely. Like I said, once the first goal was scored, the floodgates open and they have. It was a valiant effort from Leyenda. You can't you should say that. To hold them to a nil-nil at the first half. Shikeri. Shalic. Oh, he had, he decided to go for it from distance and he forced Haranash to get, make a save. Oh my goodness. That one just crept in. Ademi hits it with his hair. Not his head, he hit it with his hair. And this puts him at top goal scorer. He's past Fred. The slightest of touches. Another assist by Kiris. Oh my goodness. The streak keeps going, you're absolutely right. Good pass to Kiers. <clears throat> Deflection right, right into Harnash. There's Ramiro, Atwell, who's been subbed on, Gabi, what a pass for me, no, I didn't see it, I was writing down the stats, I'm, I'm sure it was a glorious pass. There he is, let's see this pass, nice. Oh, what a pass to Ademi. But Harnash is right there. What a pass that was.
Stojanovic. Garcia was off there. Good call from Berens. You see him making the run to draw Gar Garcia offsides. Jojo's coming off for Novak. Stojanovic. Good pass to Shaketi. Ooh, Shaketi was shoved away there. I think that might have been a foul. Rovers win it back. Garcha, who has the ball? Pashalic will, and it's five. Oh boy, five. He's got two now. I don't think there was an assist on that one. Nope. That was pure Pashalic. Tied with the record. Yep. Record is 5-0. So one more would break that record. And Shaketi might break it. But it's a good save by Harnash. Ramiro. I think the record shared. It's a it was five nil victory for Rovers and a five nil victory for Dragoish. And I think that five nil for Dragoish is against the Rovers. And I think that was this season too. <laughs> Jeez. I can double check that actually. Yep. Five nil for the Rovers against Norfolk. Where's the other 5-0? Did I dream that up? But I know Dragoš beat someone handedly 5-0. Was that last season or this season? Yeah, it was last season. Last season, yeah. But that was when they were sporting rovers. Skirla. Right at Harnash. That would have been six. Oh, Garcha with the ball. Garcha. Harnash decides to make a save. He should have let it go. He hit that with like seven times. And Garcha's header goes over to signal the end of the match. It was a thorough victory for the Rovers. They really struggled to get anything in the first half, but like I said, the floodgates opened in the second half. Let's take a look at these goals. Shaketi, man of the match, yep, I agree.
Sure, wary. Yep. Can you clip your past then? Because I want to take a look at it. Give it to Kiris with an 8.0. Shikeri was given a 7.5 here are subs. Kent 6.5, nothing for Novak or Skirla. 6 for Dwayne, 5.5 for Rodriguez and 5.5 for Atwell. But yeah, I will give it to Shikeri. He was ridiculously good today. Kiris as well, they're really starting to shine now. Time to move on to the third match. Eshdehan against Norfolk. As you are playing at home, I have to switch to another stadium. Hopefully we won't see more of the same from last one. Hopefully Norfolk will put up a bit of a fight today against Eshdehan. Eshdehan are right there with Griffins. So a win for Eshdehan will put them right in the talks of the league title victory. Griffins winning and Rovers winning today. Puts pressure on Eshdehan to perform today as well, which they should. And for Norfolk, again, they're languishing towards the bottom. So a result against Ejan would be huge, huge for them. changes for Eshjan. Banina is going to play this time in the starting lineup as a right winger. A few changes for Norfolk as well. Santos is in the midfield. Demarcus and McGee rounding out that midfield. So let's get started then. But yeah, so anyways, I was looking up, um, so we, I know we were talking about the games yesterday and I found Need for Madness is still alive. You can download it, so... The, yeah, yeah, don't worry. I, I wrote it down. I don't think it counted it because I don't think it was an official hit. Because it didn't make a sound. It just kind of grazed off of Ademi's head. That's why I said he scored with his hair. So the game probably didn't count it because of that. But yeah, I did. Because, you know, the pass was made by Kiris. So it, it counts as an assist. Here's Powell. 
Oh, Chessa's header comes off the crossbar. I thought it was going to be 1 0 there. But I would have expected Chess to put that one in. Virginia Emmett to Chess. See how Chess is wearing blue boots because he won them in the giveaway. And also, Ayadeli has yellow ones. Oh, by Nina's on the ground. I'll send the pass clip. Put it in VPSA clips. Put it in the clips channel. Alright, let's see how Banina turns out. And he's okay. Yep, no injuries here. Lee Ryu Jung. Oh, he's through. Ah, Good idea. Chess to Powell. Good clearance away. Oh, interesting. The referee follows the ball. Did you guys see that? He had his head in the sky. Or his head was pointing to the sky. If his head was in the sky, we'd have a problem. Because I don't think that's supposed to happen. A medical condition. Ryu Jong's going to cut in. He's in the box. Cuts in. And well done by Grimes. Force it out for a corner. Tyler Adams. Demarcus to Bilal. Jekko Torres wins it easily from him. Seems to be a set play by Ryu. Yeah, he likes to do that. Just run and then cut in. Here's Baninha. Oh, it's going to be a foul. This is a good chance for Eshtahan. Torres. Chess. Well over. To Marcus. Oh, it pops loose to Guest. Aw, oh, B Rob. B Rob does so well with it. Big B Rob. B Rob. Tries to run through, but. Gonna make it through here, Sanchez. Sanchez. Ooh, Virginia Emmett. Good stuff. Good stuff from the defense. Sanchez. Banina takes it away. It's a battle. Banina to Virginia Emmett. Virginia Emmett cuts in. Brilliant stuff by Virginia Emmett. Ooh. That was excellently struck by Virginia Emmett. Ooh, it would have flown into the corner, but just goes over. Baninha. Bilal. 
to McGee, to Marcus. McGee again. All the way to Bilal. Bilal, <laughs> Bilal thought he had more space, so he was let, gonna let it go, but unfortunate. What is going on? They're just dancing with the ball. Here's Bilal. You love to see Bilal. He's already made a name for himself in the Norfolk team in the starting lineup. Lebanese forward, rookie forward. Delhi does well to keep possession. McGee to Santos. It's in the air. Interesting. They want it back somehow. Oh, but a nasty tackle. The referee approaches Liriu Johnson of a yellow card. Right, Delhi's going to have a strike from distance, and Kabiri does well. When will the Europa League matches be played? Uh, November 19th. I set a time so that we could watch them because I'll be streaming those since they're the last matches, final fixtures in the group stage for the Europa League. Oh, what a pass to Baninha. Good stuff by Schneider. Baninha has been fitting well into the starting lineup as well. It's the first start he's gotten in a while. He's usually subbed on. Ooh, Chess wins it back. Surely, Chess. Back to Baninha. To Liriu Jong. Surely he'll put this in. No. It was too weak. McGee to Bilal. What will they do here? Bilal lays it off to Jermaine Four. Ooh, Jermaine Four's three is in the box. Poked away by Ty Adams. So it's going to be a corner for Norfolk. This could be interesting. Demarcus. Oh. Eusebio Santos could have won the header in the air there, but he was too off balance. Now Norfolk are a bit fraught for resources and Chess is breaking through. It's Chess and the goalkeeper and Chess puts it in. Not a surprise there. Chess will always be deadly on one-on-ones. And he easily slots that past Schneider and they're up one now. He doesn't miss from there. He doesn't. Although sometimes he has, but <laughs> we say he doesn't. 34 minutes. Oh, wow. We're almost we we're looking to be towards the end of the first half already. God, these matches just fly by for me. It, it almost feels like 20 minutes isn't enough, but I know it's more than enough. McGee. Liryu Jong's unchallenged. Liryu Jong is going to cut in. Nope, he decides to have a strike from that angle. Again, that angle is always going to be hard. But with that goal, Chester Chess is also now on nine goals. They've superseded Fred as top goal scorer. Now Chess and uh, uh, I think Ademi, right? Or Ademi's on seven, actually. Who was it that scored that also was top goal scorer?
I don't remember. Oh my goodness, leave you don't made a meal of that header. He hit it with like everything but his head. Jeremiah and four. Virginia Emmett wins it back, Lee. Back, wins it nice back, Lee. Not wins it back, Lee. What am I talking about? I'm getting all my words strung together. He wins it back, Lee. Excellent commentary by me. Price. That's who I was thinking of. Okay, so yeah. If Price gets a goal today against Royals, then... Then it'll be on nine. Then it'll be chess on nine, price on nine. But yeah, Ademi's on seven, and he didn't score today. Or no, he did, so he's on eight. But he's still second. Chess. Ooh, good stuff from chess. Not a good clearance. B Rob. And collected by Schneider. Yeah, the attack defense levels, they're all there. You can see them, but they're on the right. They're just a line. It's because the uh, the file that I that I imported with like the custom scoreboard also had custom nameplates but i guess they didn't have the custom like attack defense level thingy so it's just a line but it's okay it's still it's still there so you can see it What a goal that would have been from Virginia Emmett. Oh, it's going to count as an assist for Virginia Emmett. Interesting. I'll be sure to write that then. Did the ad boards work in the end? I haven't tested them out yet, sorry. I will though, don't worry. Alright. So yes, Ejdan have been the better team today, but Norfolk have pulled their chances. Not too many in the first half. Or in the final third. But in terms of possession, they have been there. But yeah, I need I just need time. <laughs> I need time. I need time for everything. There's a lot of things that, that we have planned for season six, so I'm really excited. Cause we we'll have the ad boards. Um, we'll probably find like ways to edit the other game files like the referee kits, the ball kits, or the ball kits, the ball files. Uh, what else? What else? Um, what other things are on the docket for season six? Let's see. Yeah, editing those because I just need time, and I'll have time when when the season ends. Um, what other things? There's a few other things. Oh right, I'll, so uh, definitely need to find a uh, a VCL commentator. We need to find someone who does that, who, who can do that. Maybe someone from the VPL can do the VCL matches. Um, but yeah, definitely need to find someone to do that. 
so that's definitely one thing um i definitely want to make uh so because it looks like the teams are going to be good enough to qualify past like the knockout round for the european competitions i want to create like decorations or like the like themes i guess for that because you know in the stream like i have <gasps> You caught me while I was monologuing. Chris Powell makes it too. It's a beautiful cross from Chester Chess. That always happens to me. I don't know why. What a cross that was from Chess. Excellent diving header from Powell. In the 51st minute. Chris Powell, there he is. Oh, Liryu Jung's through as well. My voice cracked. You could probably do like a voice crack edit. Schneider with a good save. It's going to be out for a corner. Good cross. But that's well over. But yeah, what other things? Um, definitely want to balance the teams out a bit more. I was definitely on it too. Um... Music playlist, I think we're fine. We, we have a lot of songs on the playlist, so not many of them will repeat. Oh my goodness, it's an absolute scramble. Virginia Emmett, Chris Powell. Is the attack defense level automatic or edible on spectator mode? Uh, yeah, so it is. You can change it. Um, in the tactics, there's an option for it to be like, you can always attack or you can always defend. But I've just set it as a, uh, what's it called? Like It's called like automatic. So the AI will decide when to attack and when to defend. Because, I don't know, it, there's no reason to just play attacking all the time. So, like, if you're down, you'll play more attacking. And if you want to conserve your lead, you play more defending. And the AI determines that. So it's on automatic right now. So it'll change as the game changes. Oh my goodness, Chris Powell just killed Grimes again. That's like the third time this has happened this season. Why does that always happen? Yeah, and as for events, oh my, oh my goodness, it's really coming down, the rain outside. A few weeks ago, we were supposed to get hit by a hurricane, but I must have missed out. Whoa, 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 DeMarcus and L Lumen getting into it a bit. I wish they didn't go full defense on 1-0. Yeah. That is something that I would like to figure out at some point as well. Like, how does this game actually work? Like, what are the mechanics? Like, what, what, like, what decisions does the AI make? Liu Jung's gonna come off. He looks exhausted. Yeah, I would love to figure that out. I actually, a long time ago, I I sent an email to a game developer for this game, 
because he's still active, and I, and I shot him an email, just like wondering if I could ask him a few questions about the game that he helped develop this one, but he never got back to me. That was a while ago now, that was like more than a year ago. We could have events to get player celebrations. What do you mean, like giveaways? Because I'd like to do more giveaways as well, but again, I need to plan those out. They're, I can't just do them willy-nilly. <laughs> like, I want to make sure that they're, like, well thought out and planned. Because I like them as well. The best giveaway has been the Penalty Fever one. That one was so much fun. The worst one was Minesweeper. Nobody wanted to play Minesweeper. But Minesweeper is so good. You guys are just haters. Yeah, so I'm not sure. I actually, oh my goodness, what a strike that was from Anthony Cole. That was not, that was not shabby at all. Both teams will put on some subs again. Giveaways don't always need to be for TP, true, true. Yeah, again, like, I need to figure out what it is, like, what, what I can do. Like, maybe we can do, like, like a giveaway that, like, it, you know, we can figure something out. But, like, you get a dog head for a season, and then you revert back to human form. But, yeah, they need to be fun as well, because Minesweeper was not fun. Like, I wonder what kind of events we could, we could do. Because a few that have come into mind, like, they don't have to be football related either. Like, I had the I had the cooking one idea that I had. Like, you could just make something. And the yummiest looking one wins, like, an award. What other one did I have? There's that one. I was also thinking of, like, like a geocache. Like, you guys could go geocaching. And you could, like, find something cool. And whoever finds, like, the coolest thing can get an award. I, I had that idea a while ago, but that was when COVID was bigger, so I was kind of, like, timid about it. But I don't, but again, like, COVID's still a thing, so I don't know. Going out is kind of, may not be a reality for many people, so. I've been trying to stick it to only things you can do online. And even then, it's hard because not everybody has a computer. Here's Wallace. Wallace hat trick, maybe? Guest. Aw. The geometry dash was good. Yeah, that one was fun. A lot of people had fun with that one. I think the more the more you work on it, like the more you have to work and like discuss it, the better the more fun it is, I think. And I also like the team, like the team aspect of, of it as well. Like, if you get more people on your team to help you out, then like what's it called then like there's an incentive you know like there's an incentive for you to do well but also for you to like help your team out and but i i had a few other ideas as well like like for example i was talking with uh, espolon a while ago um about like us doing an event for halloween with the other league the cfsl scfsl we could do like a halloween thing and like have it be like a server based thing and then i was thinking maybe like we could do like an event and if we win then everybody gets tp something like that or like everybody gets an, a reward something like that but i don't know but i was thinking something like that as well like we could participate in like server server competitions like i know there's like there's like you can participate in giveaways for like nitro or something so i don't know there's a lot to do. There's a lot of things we, we can do with it. And, like, I want to be creative with it. Like, like, that's the whole point of the event. So, we're, it's not just football. Like, we could do fun stuff. We could also just do a wheel spin. Yeah, we could do a, a coin flip. All right, so heads. Heads, griffins get disassembled. 
Tails rovers get disassembled. All right. Oh, heads. Looks like the Griffins will cease to exist. What a great, what a great idea. <laughs> On a coin flip. Pumpkin carving. Ooh, that sounds like fun. But I don't know if anybody, if everybody else has like pumpkins. I guess. But yeah, I want to, like, I, I'm trying to think of, like, something that's fun. Like, the Penalty Fever was memorable. Geometry Dash was memorable. Minesweeper was not memorable. Mm. We did another one. We've done four giveaways. Or have we done three? No, we've done four because we didn't do one this season. And no, we didn't do one season one either. So, no, we've only done three. It was Penalty Fever was the first one the second one was minesweeper and the third one was geometry dash i think that's how it went virginia emmett what a what a defensive work from becker powell but yeah small giveaways weekly based on prediction choose five games weekly correct outcome gets you one point correct score gets you a second point maybe But yeah, again, that's that's something we can plan for the off season as well. Like if we want to if we want to do an event for season six. McGee. Ah, oh, Anthony Cole's header, and Adeli punches him in the gut. That's not okay. And that's the end of the match. A two 0 victory for Eshtehan. It sees them right in that talk for the league title victory. And Norfolk are languishing, unfortunately, alongside Leyenda. And the Eagles, who are marginally above them. Yeah, I'm wondering. Because I do like the giveaways. Because then we act more as a community. And we do like more stuff rather than just sitting and watching games. But yeah, it doesn't it doesn't matter how weird it is, like the cooler it is, the more fun it is. Like we could do karaoke. We could do like a karaoke tournament. People can choose a song to sing. And we do like a like a bracket. We vote on who sings the best. Or we could do like an animation contest. Like animate VPSA moments. And whoever has the best animation or edit gets some rewards. Also, this is kind of a weird idea that I just had. Excuse me, I just burped. But I'm wondering, what if we had like a theme, like a theme per season? Like, cause I remember a while ago, I had the idea of like doing like a football sim league, like exactly like this one, but like making it old timey, like starting from the 1880s and like having the, like, like having everything just 80s, like 1880s theme and then just working your way to the present day. Chess was given man of the match. Here are our subs. 5.5 for Kurt, 5.5 for Belunis, and 7 for Lut. Lun. 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 Yeah, Lun. Lun. 6.5 for Cole, 5.5 for Wallace, nobody cares about Wallace, and 6.5 for Paquet. So yeah, I think I will give it to Chess then. Yeah, but the idea is it should be like fun, like just oodles and oodles of fun. All right, 
but we're gonna move into our last match. Dragoish will face. Actually, we're in the we're not in the same stadium, so we'll have to switch again. But we'll have Dragoish face the Royals. We can use the Fantasy League as a giveaway. Sure thing. Maybe not for a TP, but definitely like for special things. Alright, this is a massive match for the Royals. All the other teams have dropped points around them. So if they manage to get a result here... It would really help them avoid the drop. Maybe have a straight up betting challenge. Every player in the server starts with 30 TPs that can either gamble or win or lose. I know how you guys are with gambling. You guys are wild. <laughs> I remember when we streamed on Twitch and you guys would gamble away your life savings. So I'm not sure about that because you guys go wild. See how are the Premier League matches? I wanna I wanna catch the the Manchester Derby because that one's gonna be huge. We are responsible people. Yeah, that's what they all say. But then you guys are given a few Twitch channel points, and you guys forget who you are. <laughs> you guys forget all your morals. Hmm. We could always like Hmm. I don't know. I'm st I'm still thinking cuz there's still plenty of things you could do. It started pouring outside. It's pouring in the stadium. Is it a sign of things to come? See, it's such a it's such a hard balance though. Because like, oh, that's a nasty tackle on Ferdinand. It's such a hard balance because like, because the when I when I plan the giveaways, it's a really fine line. Price hits it into the sky. But it's such a fine balance because, the the. Uh, the uh, what's it called the 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 means have to fit the end so like i can't have a really hard challenge that doesn't give that much tp away or does isn't like a sufficient enough reward because people then won't really participate but also i have to make sure that it isn't like a walk in the park that anybody can do because then it's not really fun like the the joy is in like finding a way through to then earn the reward so it's a, it's a hard balance it's a hard hard balance so that's why i need to plan it very 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 carefully And, I, and I'm trying to think of like what things I can offer as well, like in the game. Cause like I offer like custom like 
you can go to the barber shop and like it doesn't cost a penny like the barber's happy to help you out or you can go to the plastic surgeon and he's also happy to help you out Dargoish have started very strongly here Royals are on the back on the back foot but like celebrations like wacky hairstyles maybe like there's some wacky ones that I haven't shown you guys. Like I showed I showed them on stream a while ago. Oh, ooh, that was very clinical from the Royals defense. That could have been one nil for Dragoish. Gonna be a free kick for the Royals. Can I change my eyebrows? Sure, yeah. What kind of eyebrows do you want? <laughs> I didn't know that there's an eyebrow surgeon. Oh, good stuff from Ramirez. Right into Guadco. Dragoish are really, really showing their teeth against the Royals today. Can I get a beard? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, if you, if you want to change your player appearance, you can. Although I can't guarantee that I can change it like every match, you know, like be reasonable about it. Like, you know, you can change it maybe like once or twice a season. That's totally fine by me. But yeah, you can shoot me a DM like saying like what you'd like and then I can change them up. You can also, whoa. What was that? That was a, like a step over by Fernando Rodriguez. They came out swinging. They really did. The Agoish are coming out in full force. I think that's going to be a goal kick. Yeah, we have barbershop, we have a plastic surgeon. They're both pretty good. I I know him personally actually. I'm going to take care of that. They're pretty good. We'll never forget Schwartz who like looked like he was 60 and then immediately went to the barber shop. Yellow card for Cardoso. Gonna be a free kick for Dragos in a very interesting position. Right basically at the edge of the pitch there. Blackwood is gonna cross it in. Also, I'm thinking about starting a football manager mobile save. I'm on 2018 and I'm curious like what ideas do you guys have like what sh what save should i do anything's on the table like i have the challenges unlocked but maybe we could do like another bpsa like my club series that i did but instead it's like only a select amount of players and then we can see like if we can get to the top i suck at manager mobile though so good luck but yeah, we can also do like custom, like I did an ang I did an Anguilla thing. Ooh, yellow card for Ramirez. But yeah, I want to make it interesting as well, cause I like I like the idea of scouting players from different countries and then bringing them and then selling them for for more money and then using that to scout more interesting players from different countries. And I and I I I sometimes start in like low leagues for like England, but it's kind of tedious like crawling your way up. But I don't want to like start immediately at the top because that's boring. So maybe maybe I can start in like if I'm gonna start in England, maybe I can start in like League One or something. But I I've also never done like a save in Germany, which I've been thinking about. Like I can start in like the third or second tier. But yeah, I don't know. What do you guys? What ideas do you guys have? Cause my commute is really long, and I, I don't want to just sit there doing nothing. 
Hey, I could be working, but nobody wants to do that. Are you kidding me? I have Norwich City and Macclesfield. That could be fun, Macclesfield. Because they're, they're way down now. But that's kind of a rags to riches story. So it might take a while to get things going. Because I think it takes at least 10 years to crawl your way up to the top. And then it takes a lot more to actually be like there, like stay there. And on mobile, the saves are only 30 years long. Once you hit 30, you die. <laughs> you basically die. Like the game says, I've never gotten to the end, but I've seen it. And it's like, you are too old to keep managing. So thank you for all your hard work. Have a great retirement. And that's it. It's just a screen that says that basically. Here's Imran, Blackwood. Blackwood. Imran. Gonna take a deflection. Blackwood. And the header's over. No goals yet, but Dragoj have been on the front foot. Royals have had a bit more uh, work to be had in the defense. They haven't had too many chances up front. Vitesse, they are a top division in the Netherlands and they make a fun rebuild. They got good links with Chelsea. Oh, interesting. I think Netherlands also has that, um, what's it called? Where they have like the reserve teams playing in the lower divisions. I think that's enabled in the mobile save and I like doing that as well because I like, I like my other players to get experience. Fernando Rodriguez, out wide to Imran, who crosses it in. Good header by Paulo Oliveira. Ramirez wins it back. This could be good. And Imran drags it wide. Okay, that might be interesting to look at. Okay, okay. Netherlands, because also they're not like too high up, like England, in the coefficient ranking. So like, I have to really fight for a good spot. And Dutch teams are pretty good. Okay, okay, I like the sound of that. And also, that's the career, that's the Become a Legend Club that I was a part of a while ago. I did, I did Vitesse. Free kick for the Royals. I'm wondering how the Royals can muster up some attacking energy here. Yeah, you're right, Alessio. I was just mentioning that. Let me start doing something. Oh, Ferdinand should have done better there. <laughs> Broadhead just like took a dive there for some reason. Do defenders ever get men of the match? Yes. But I think this season, because there's been so many more goals this season, it's been pretty much just midfielders and forwards. Oh, what a pass to Stevie Wonder. Maybe this could be a good chance for the Royals. Bobo! Oh. He really should have done better there, Bobo. That was handed to him on a silver platter by Stevie Wonder. Tom Price. Remember that Tom Price is on eight goals at the moment. Oh, Tom Price! He puts it in! I was just saying, oh my gosh. I actually jinxed it there. But Tom Price puts it in. Dragoish lead. In the 
40th minute goal scored by Tom Price. I actually, actually just jinxed it there. I said, oh, Tom Price, oh, he better score. And then literally with the next touch, he scored. Stevie Wonder. So, yeah, my bad, guys. My bad. All the way to chat champion. Oh, Alessio's here. Alessio. No, Alessio. How did he not score from there? That should have been in. But here's chat champion again. Alessio. Uh, well cut out by Moretti. Espolon. Fouled. Good tackle by Imran. Oh, what an interception by Cardoso. Royals are immediately on the front foot. They're attacking. Oh, poor pass from Chad Champion. What's the opposite of champion, by the way? Is there an antonym for champion? Flacco clears it. Ferdinand. Back to Anderson. Back to Ferdinand. Good cross. Oh, excellent stuff by Esporon. Lays it up to champion in the space. Bale. All right, we're going to go to the break. It's still anybody's game. Royals have been, a, when they did concede, they have been more attacking. Once players start retiring, will you make a classic team? Sure, that's a long way in the future though. In about two months time, VPSA will turn two years old and we've gone well by that point we'll have gone at least six years in the game so if we keep at that pace let's see another six years people will be 12 years older which is another two years let's see so I'm guessing your players will probably retire by the time the 2026 World Cup comes around how old will you guys be by then? I'll be 25. I'll be old as shit. <laughs> Real ones playing ahead. True, true. We'll, we'll be able to have videos in like 3060, 680p or something. You guys will be able to see Alessio's sweat beads from his elbows. There it is, the goal. Unfortunate for the Royals, but it's still a one goal lead. They can still pull it back and they've had their chances. All right. Dragos have been the better team. Let's see how it carries on into the second half for the last match of the stream. Of the VPL stream, that is. Yeah, it's weird thinking about the future. Because three years ago, it, we were like in the middle of like pandemic. Like straight up, just super pandemic. Like everybody's locked in. Three years ago now. And in three years, you know, it's the same time difference, but it will be in 2026. We'll be more than halfway through the decade. <laughs> Imagine being like retirement home like it's season 90. I remember when we used to play on the computer. Now I just stream it via hologram for you guys in front of your faces. 
I remember when you had to tune in and watch it. You couldn't just relay it from your dreams and then just watch it in your dreams. <laughs> three years ago, I was three years younger. Wild. Massive. Big brain moment. Big brain time. Yeah. And if you guys even think about it, hear me out, hear me out. Five years ago, you were five years younger. I know it's crazy, but that's how it goes. Chad Champion has been subbed out for Lucio Hernandez. Rocketed forward to Bobo. A bit of a scrambly chance. Oh my goodness. Truchin almost gave it away to Bobo there. Espolón, Stevie Wonder, Hernández, Espolón again, pass was too short for Alessio, the ref got in the way, yeah, Hart was like, move, get out of the way. Luckily, we don't have referee interferences in this game, so we don't have to worry about that. Oh, great run by Oliveira. He's still going. Great tackle by Tom Price, who's all the way back. Montero Diaz is going to loop it in, and it's, it's out. Kick for the Royals. The Gorge players race back. Oh, that could be interesting as well. What if we did a... What's it called? An ARG? Is that what it's called? Augmented reality game? What if we... What if, like, we did that? Like, like I could work on some videos and like you guys could like, you know, like a choose your own adventure thing. Tom Price. Well done by Espolon. The picture looks very crowded. What's that? So there's a there's a, you can do it in a wide variety of ways. Like you can like go on websites and people like it's like a click. Like, you have to click to find secrets, and that's like a game itself. But I think the idea with an ARG is that, you know, it transcends, like, the space of a game. Like, it doesn't take place in a thing. Like, like I know there are games that, like, mess with your computer files, and you have to, like, go and find them or something like that. Obviously, in a safe way, it's not, it's not going to, like, delete your, 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 like, important files or something, but something like that. But, like, I could make, like, videos, and it's, like, a choose-your-own-adventure, and you guys could, like, figure it out, get find all the endings, things like that. I don't know. Just an idea. But I like those as well. There's actually a secret on the VPSA website, and only one person has found it. So... I, I put the secret in there a long time ago when I first made the website. We should join an IRL team management thing and one player's manager and then all be players and rename the club to VPSA AFC. Nice. <laughs> Corporate takeover, let's go. <laughs> no, but actually, uh, we do have our own team that we support, West End Predators. At least I do. You guys probably don't, but I do. So, when the season starts back up, if you guys want to tune in and support them. Ramirez! Good save then be sure to tune in. Secret? Yeah, there's a secret on the website. 
There's only one. I only put one on there. Actually, let me see if it's still on. It probably isn't because I, I was like, nobody, nobody found it, so nobody cares. Let me see. Yeah, it's still there. Yep. Only one person has found it. Only one. And it, and it was a long time ago. Like a long, long time ago. Like when I first made the website, it was like within that week. They're like, hey, what's this about? Is it the thing with, huh? With what? Hey, hey, I can't say what it is, guys. That ruins the secret. You guys have to find it for yourself. It's an embarrassing picture of SpongeBob at the Christmas party. No. <laughs> Just hiking. Royals have just a little bit of time left to find their equalizer. Recovery by Alessio. Oliveira. Cualco to Broadhead. Cardoso. Uh, yep, it's going to be a bit tougher to get past the Dragoish defense. Bale. Oh, good recovery by Pedro Cruz. Lays it off to Garrett Hart. And Garrett Hart kicks the ground and forgets about the ball. Tom Price. Out wide to Rodriguez. Imran. Decent cross. Nobody's found it. Cardoso picks it back up. He's going to pump it upfield. Talk about the GOAT, Pedro Cruz and his Man of the Match performance. Yeah, you know, some things are just better left unsaid. Some things, actions speak louder than words, you know what I mean? Two subs for Dragoish, Anderson comes off for Machich, and Rodriguez is going to come off for Moretti. Oh, he ends up with the ball. Oh, it was creeping in, but just wide of the post. Excellent effort. Ramirez has been having a massive game today. I'd be pushing him for men of the match today. Imran's going to come off for Ali. Across to Cardoso. Hernandez. Hiken. Oh, good cross. Oh, nobody was there. But it was a great cross from Hiken. Kazierski. Espolon. Time is of the essence for the Royals. Good stuff from Majic. 
Passes it to Ramirez. Ramirez, right at the edge of the box. Good stuff by Alessio. Tackles and clears it. Hiking to Bobo. And it's recovered again. Dragos defense very good today. I think that's what has allowed them to almost see this game as a victory. Not yet though. There's still a little bit left to play. Ramirez. Oh, he's going to time waste. Well, he runs it out. <laughs> what a goofball. He messed that one up. Blackwood. Oh, he finds Ferdinand through. Ferdinand. Tom Price. Oh, they should have scored there. Oh. Somehow Tom Price didn't put it in. It's like trying to wave a wand in the middle of the dark. You're not going to get anywhere. Tom Price wins it back. Tom Price is going to time waste. Oh, but he's going to cross it in. And Guayco collects it right at the edge of the post. And I think that will do it for this match. It is going to be a 1-0 victory for Dragoes. Excellent defensive work from them. Royals were shut out. There's our goal. I'm craving cashews now. We wasted some chance to tie it. Yep. On another day, I think the Royals could have done well. They had their chances, but couldn't do it. close by Ramirez that one how did Tom Price not put that in you crave the most random things I think I might be pregnant man I'm actually thinking I might be pregnant <laughs> Yeah, the match was given to Ramirez. I think that's fair. That's who I was thinking. Majid 6.5, Moretti 6.5, Ali nothing. Hernandez 5.5, Heiken 5.5, and Kudzerski 6.0. But yeah, I think I will give it to Ramirez. That's the second time, actually. Yeah, two in a row for Ramirez. All right. He's popping off. Well, that does it for me today, at least for the VPL matches. We're going to slide right into the VCL matches. So if you'd like to tune in, you're welcome to. If not, not a problem. I hope you had a good stream today, guys. We just have three matches left for the VPL. Match day 12. Match day 13 and match day 14, and that's it. That's the end of season 5 for the VPL. Crazy how time flies like that.
But yes, tune in for the VCL if you'd like. If not, not a problem. I hope you guys enjoyed today's stream and this week's stream. And I'll see you guys next week or in a little bit. So take care. See ya.